In this video, I wanted to show you guys my long thin blue eye lemon bristle nose pleco breeding setup. So for those of you who've seen some of my aquarium videos before, you'll know that bristle nose plecos are one of my favorites to breed. I've uh, been experimenting with breeding the different varieties for the last six to eight months, I want to say, with varied success, but I've had several batches and many different varieties, and this is the latest tank I set up here. I have two long fin blue eye lemons in this tank, a male and a female, and they've actually already had three batches for me. So inside this tank right now, you'll see the biggest babies in here are the first batch, about 50% long fin, 50% short fin. So their lineage wasn't too pure long fin, I guess. The parents here probably had some standard fin in their genes, but still very happy that I have a bunch of long fin babies. And then I have a second generation, which only one or two of the fish made it. The father ended up kicking out the eggs, and I wasn't able to find all the eggs. So only a few from the second generation. And then the third generation is actually in the cave right now as eggs. And that's kind of my reasoning for taking this video. And you can see the mother hiding behind that log right there. And the father is in the larger cave, which I'm going to show you guys in one moment. On this tank, I run a hang-on back filter and two sponge filters, and when the eggs hatch into wigglers, I'm going to turn off the hang-on back filter for a few weeks until the little fry get some good size on them and they're strong enough to be able to swim on top of the intake without going inside of it, and then I can turn the hang-on back back on. The tank I have them in here is a 30 gallon tall. I would like to get them into a 20 gallon breeder since I just have the two adults, but right now I have a stand and a top for this 30 gallon tall, so I'm just utilizing the stuff I have here, and when I eventually do someday build out my fish room, it's pretty much going to be all 20 gallon, 30 gallon, and 40 gallon breeders with one pair of bristlenose probably occupying a 20 gallon breeder. I feed these guys Hikari algae wafers and I'll cut up a green squash every now and then too and sometimes I'll throw in some other brands as well for algae wafers. And as you can see they do quite a bit of nibbling on the java ferns as well but these java ferns are pretty tough so they don't end up dying, they just get pretty damaged. And as you can see in this shot right here, after a few days these eggs did hatch into a ton of wigglers and then some of the first generation babies like hanging out in the cave with dad too for whatever reason. but. These wigglers won't come out for another few days. I do have the hang on back filter off so that when they do come out, they will be safe and they won't get sucked into the filtration. And as you can see in this shot right here, the babies have come out after a few days and they're now co-mingling with all their older siblings. Haven't seen any dead ones yet anywhere in the tank, so seems to be a very good survival rate so far. You're going to notice that the tank is very dirty right now. That is a combination of my hang on back filter not being on and I also try to avoid vacuuming or doing any huge water changes for the first week or so that my babies are alive. Just because I know the smaller they are the more sensitive they are to changes in water parameters and also vacuuming could be pretty tough because there's so many small little guys hiding around in the tank I would likely end up sucking up a few of them so I usually let the tank go a bit dirty for a week or so until they get a little bit of size on them and I feel confident that I'm not going to suck up too many of them and that I'm not going to kill any of them. If I end up adding water that is maybe a couple degrees off, although I do try to measure the water to the best of my ability uh, with my little thermal uh, thermometer before I put the water in. And these fish have been at around 79 degrees this summer and then in the winter that usually drops down to around 77 degrees. And I got this pair of adults a couple of months ago for around $130 I want to say, maybe $150. I'm not really sure how much I paid but I bought them from somebody local and I gotta say I'm not disappointed. They've already, they've already created three batches of eggs for me in the first like three or four months. They're breeding monthly which is great and they will definitely make that money back with these babies once I get these babies to size of about one and a half to two inches. The long fins I can probably get $20 or more for. And I'm going to try to sell them locally, but I might open it up to shipments as well. And if I do that, I will let you guys know on here. But anyways, that is what I have for this short little video on my long fin blue eye lemon bristle nose pleco breeding project. If you guys found this interesting in any way, hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more aquarium videos and pleco videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button. 
and as always, thank you for watching.